for me, the big picture is really trying to, you know, understand the things that are going to be meaningful to my friends, to my family, uh, to my children when I'm gone. Playing with my kids or telling them a story. I think it's just a reminder that it matters because it's really hard to do those little things. Sometimes when you're not feeling it, and as a parent, you're usually not feeling it. <laughs> And so our, our vision was to create a simple, beautiful baby brand to help moms make their lives easier. At, at first, this, for several years, we were just hustling. I mean, we were just working hard. I was up late. We were receiving pallets to our house. It was just time after time after time. People would ask me questions that I had no idea. And it felt like it was a year before I was asked a question that I knew the answer to. So I was at Basis uh, Scottsdale for a couple years teaching and then I moved to a Christian school uh, and I was running their missions program. During that time is when we started our business, Lucy Darling. Uh, so in the winter of 2012, my wife had this idea yep. when, she had, when she was pregnant for our, our daughter, wanted to create a really beautiful product that would be helpful for us to remember how old she was as she was growing. A uh, little sticker to put on her onesie as she was getting older month by month. She said, actually, because I can't find anything, maybe there's a hole in the market that's something that we could do. And she said, but we'd need to invest a little bit of money. And I thought, Ooh, how much money are we talking about here? And she said, $100. I said, Whew. I mean, this is, this is really going to cut out of that teacher salary. And so it was a three-day conversation about this, this seed money investment of 100 US dollars. And I said, all right. I trust you, let's, let's put all the money in. <laughs> and so we did, we, we put all the $100 in and uh, yeah, I guess we haven't looked back. You know, a lot of students have this grand vision of what they're going to accomplish once they graduate from college. That was not my story. Uh, my story was I didn't really know what I wanted to do as I finished high school. My economics teacher from my high school took us down. I, I can't even, I think it was a lecture from Dr. Wolfram. And while I was on campus, I was walking by the library and out walked Clarence Thomas. That was pretty cool. <laughs> and so seeing him, I was like, huh. I think I, uh, I should give a little bit of thought to this place. Uh, and so at Hillsdale, uh, immediately I just fell in love with the place. I think it was maybe my junior year, uh, but there was a restaurant there called The Saucy Dog. I don't know if it's still there. Uh, but we had, I think on Tuesdays, they had 25 cent wings night. And my roommate and I decided, hey, you know what? I bet we could afford to take a, a professor out to dinner. You know, what's he gonna eat? 12 wings, you know? Yeah, we had tons of guys out for, for this, uh, for dinner. Um, I know we had Dr. Jackson and Dr. Connor, and I think even uh, Victor Davis Hanson came out. Life's hard, right? There's all kinds of challenges that we face. You know, having kids is tough, being married is tough, running a business is tough. And so you need to be bold enough to do difficult things. I, I was able to see at Hillsdale these wise men and women who cared about me and were able to give good counsel. So that as I've seen other challenges, challenges at work, jobs that I've had before, uh, challenges in marriage, challenges in raising my children, uh, I've, I've gone back to that uh, sort of habit that I've created, which is uh, going to those that I, that I know love and care for me and, and seeking their advice. You know, one of the, the things that has been really helpful with our business is my wife is very talented. She's very good at making beautiful things. And so, you know, for me, my goal and my job, basically from the beginning, has been how do we sell this? So at first, we started the business on Etsy. Uh, that's where we were doing all of our business for the first year. And then we expanded to Amazon. Th that, I think that year was full of a lot of challenges because I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, I didn't know lingo, I didn't know process, I didn't know anything. And so I had to figure it all out on the fly while we were selling. When we first uh, landed a deal with Nordstrom, we had, I had a hundred page, eight and a half by eleven PDF that I had to read in order to understand how to ship boxes to Nordstrom. 
And so these things were so overwhelming at first, and we just had to plow through. We were receiving pallets to our house. On Mondays, we would get a pallet or two or three delivered to the garage, and we would, on that evening, we would bring everything inside, and then we'd have to label it and do all kinds of stuff with it, and then the next day would be the pickup, and then we would have to have everything palletized, and then it would be pulled out of the garage. And so it was almost uh, three days a week was just that process because we were getting bigger and more orders. I think when someone asks you a question that you have no idea how to answer, especially when you're trying to create a brand and a business, it's, it's really humbling uh, because you're trying to figure out how do I answer this question correctly but also not foolishly. Since then, we've been able to bring a team together. We have a warehouse and a fulfillment center. And so one of the things that's been really neat is one, to be honest, is just that my wife's a very talented designer. It's been awesome to see her strength working together to, to sort of give the world these beautiful things that she has created has been really satisfying. 